This screencast is going to quickly show you some ways in which you can get some good background information before you actually start doing research on your particular topic. Uh, background information can be really helpful. You can get it for both topical questions like what is the broken windows theory of crime and also things about research methods. If you need to find a little bit more about a particular research method, this is a good place to come. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and take a look at Sage Reference Online and I'm just going to click on this and it's going to open it in another window. And Sage Reference Online is basically a database of reference works published by these social science publisher SAGE. So for example, I'm going to search on broken window theory of crime and broken windows is just specific enough that I'm just going to search that, but I am going to put it in quotation marks where it's going to search it as a phrase, the word broken followed by the word windows. If I don't do that, then it searches broken and windows, which might be a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and do my search. And when I do my search, I'm going to find that there's a number of things that will actually give me information. And I kind of look over here and I can see that I have entries in the Encyclopedia of Crime and Punishment or the Encyclopedia of, so of Social Deviants, etc. So I can kind of look through these. And some of these entries will be small and others will be larger. But this is a really good way for me to get some good background information on looking at some of these. Um, this actually is uh, James Q. Wilson is the person who came up with this theory. So I want to kind of look at this a little bit to kind of get a sense of maybe what's behind the theory from you know the person who originated it. So this is going to give me a little bit of the history of it and there is you know the publication of this. And you'll notice by the way that this really influential um, article was actually not published in a scholarly publication. It was originally published in Atlantic Monthly, which is an interesting example of how sometimes important prof important uh, professional and scholarly ideas are disseminated in different sorts of ways. So um, if once I do this, by the way, usually there'll be some option for me to uh, download it, to export a citation in various in various formats, although of course I need to check that. I can't always connect it. I can share it on social media. I can do all sorts of options here. So I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to go look at Oxford Reference Online Premium Content. And when I do that, it's the same thing, except this is a collection of reference works that are published by Oxford University Press. Oxford and Sage are both really, really um, influential and good publishers. So I'm going to do the same thing, and you can see a little bit more information there. I'm going to do my search. And once I do my search, I'll actually probably see a number of different entries that I can look at them and get sort of a broad um, review of this. So this is really good for background information. One thing I didn't point out when we were looking at SAGE was in addition to actually searching on a particular topic, what I can also do is go over here and browse. For example, since this is a research methods class, I'm going to go down and I'm going to look and I'm going to see, oh look, here are um, resources on research methods and evaluation. And when I click on this, I actually find out that there are are five full text um, uh, reference works on research methods, Encyclopedia of Evaluation, Encyclopedia of Measurement and Statistics. This one looks good, the Sage Encyclopedia of Qualitative Research Methods, and the Encyclopedia of Social Science Research Methods. So I could actually search these individual volumes for something as well as searching for something be throughout the whole Sage database. So I just wanted to point this out. Um, in addition to these online reference resources, you can also search the library catalog to find to find particular items um, and then uh, most but mostly now things are available online so that's probably for a distance class that's probably going to be your best bet anyway I hope this gave you an idea of how you can uh, find resources reference resources and and Doing a little bit of pre-search before you do research can really save you a lot of time. Uh, what it'll do is it'll give you uh, background information, it'll give you names of people. For example, James Wilson might be kind of relevant to me if I were actually writing on broken, the broken windows theory. And um, it also can give you vocabulary terms that you can plug into databases and search engines, etc.